Section 3.2, the Bohr model. Niels Bohr theory explains the line spectrum of the hydrogen atom and the other atoms we are looking at at the end of section 3.1. So in his theory, electrons are found in orbits around the nucleus. So we imagine the nucleus, again, which has our protons and neutrons, is kind of like, we can think of it kind of like the sun at the center, and the electrons are in orbits circ uh, circling the nucleus. And so orbits that are further out are higher in energy. So as we go further away from the nucleus, the energy of the electrons increases. Now let's talk about absorption and emission. So generally speaking, you know, let's say we've just got an atom of hydrogen, it's kind of just chilling there, so its electron is in what's called the ground state, or the first energy level. Now let's say some sort of source of electromagnetic radiation comes along, and so that electromagnetic radiation or that light hits our electron this causes the electron to absorb energy and it becomes excited so it moves to higher energy levels so it could jump up to the second the third the fourth the fifth energy levels so let's say it jumps up to the second energy level so now it's sitting here in this second energy level and it'll stay here for a brief moment but the electrons they don't like staying in these higher energy levels if there is space for them down in the lower energy levels so after a brief moment in time, that electron is going to fall back down to the first energy level. And so that extra energy has to go somewhere. And so that extra energy is given off. It is emitted. So those lines you see in the emission spectra, they are a result of electrons absorbing energy, moving to higher energy levels. And then when they fall back down, they give off this excess energy in the form of photons. Now, we can calculate the wavelength of these photons using the Rydberg formula. So this is the Rydberg formula. Again, this will be on the reference sheet. You just need to know how to use it. So 1 over lambda equals r, parentheses 1 over nf squared minus 1 over ni squared. So lambda here represents wavelength. This r with the infinity sign in the subscript, this is the Rydberg constant. It is 1.097 times 10 to the seventh inverse meters and nf and ni represent energy levels so n sub f is the final energy level and sub i is the initial energy level so lines in the line spectra they correspond to energy levels in the atom this is why every element has a unique emission spectrum or unique line spectrum because they all have slightly different energy levels which means they all give off slightly different photons of light let's look at an example problem Calculate the wavelength in nanometers of a photon emitted when an electron transitions from n equals 3 to an n equals 2 state in a hydrogen atom. So we are being asked to calculate the wavelength in nanometers. So we're going to use the Rydberg formula. 1 over lambda equals r infinity, 1 over nf squared minus 1 over ni squared. So r infinity, that's our Rydberg constant, just plug the constant in. Now the initial energy level is three, right? Because it transitions from n equals three to n equals two. So the initial state is n equals three. The final state is n equals two. So this would be one over two squared minus one over three squared. So one fourth minus one ninth. You're gonna to wanna to do least common denominator here. So you can subtract these fractions. So 9 36 minus 4 36. So that is 5 36 so 1 over lambda equals 1.097 times 10 to the 7th multiplied by 5 over 36. All right, so that gives you 1.524 times 10 to the 6th inverse meters. Now we just need to solve for lambda. So you could multiply lambda over and then divide this constant back. So you would get lambda equals 1 over 1.524 times 10 to the 6th inverse meters which gives a final answer of 6.562 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. When converted to nanometers, you get 656.2 nanometers. So that is around the wavelength of red light. So that red light in hydrogen's emission spectra comes from an electron falling from the third energy level to the second energy level. All right. Let's do a knowledge check question. 
What is the wavelength of light emitted when an electron in a hydrogen atom goes from n equals 4 to n equals no, uh, 1, where r infinity equals 1.097 times 10 to the 7th inverse meters? All right, the correct answer here is C, 97 nanometers. So 1 over lambda equals, so it would be R infinity, so you'd plug that value in right here, minus 1 over NF squared. The final energy level is 1, so 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 4 squared. So you have 1 over lambda equals R infinity and this you would end up getting here 15 over 16 when you do LCD and subtract. So plug R infinity in, multiply these two things together, then solve for lambda and convert from meters to nanometers and you get C, 97 nanometers. Okay, that concludes section 3.2. I'll see you in the next video for section 3.3, development of quantum theory.